Okay, people, I've decided to start doing more Minecraft videos, such as tutorials on my own redstone setups, such as kelp farms and pickle farms and all that. A lot of these farms will be based off of my Nintendo Switch Edition, which seems to work as well on Java Edition as they do on the, I guess you'd call it the Bedrock Edition. So, uh, let's get started. We will head into my brand new redstone testing world which as you can see has just been built today and is running on version 1.14.1 .1. the reason I'm using this version is because my server that I uh, have running Amacraft is still on this version right here because we're using Spigot as a plugin system <clears throat> oh wow that's a lot that is a lot of flatness. Alrighty, so let's get started. Uh, anyways, back to what I was saying. I will be showing you how to make a uh, simple kelp farm. It will be a 5x5x5 five by five by five block setup, so you can set it up in module-like setups. I have just turned mob spawning off, so... This way, nothing happens. So yeah, since it's a new redstone testing world, it's not really set up for the best of, well, doing redstone. So I'm, during the video, I will be disabling certain things. So hopefully future videos, I will not have to do that. So first things first is setting up the frame for the 5x5, five five. Oh, yeah. here I'll just build it up for them, kelp farm. Uh, remember you can set this up in modules, it will use whatever, uh, it will use whatever decoration blocks you want to use as a frame, uh, whatever color glass, it will use regular pistons, observers, Redstone and hoppers. The reason why I'm doing a five by five is so this way I can make it double sided. We will have water that flows up at the top into the hoppers, which will drop it down to your chest. And that's why I consider a module, because you can stack these, or even put them side by side, or however you want. As long as they're 5x5 five five and set up like this, they can pretty much go anywhere. Technically, you can do it 5x3 with this setup. But, let's get back to the crafting. Let's see, we will need sand for the cup to grow on. Normally, I make these look really nice, but consider most people only get started out with cobble to begin with, and this. And kelp blocks are a really good fuel source for us to use. I'm going with nothing but cobble on this setup. And while, yes, bamboo is a decent fuel source, the fact it takes four bamboo to smelt one item versus a dried kelp block which can smelt 20 items, I prefer the dried kelp blocks. Okay, next will be glass. Remember, you can have the glass any color you want. I'm using clear to help show how I'm having everything set up. Now, the reason I'm putting blocks up here is to help guide the water flow that will happen. Here. Here. Remember, this is just to help set the water flow. One of the main places I use this is in underground base. 
Because when I start out my Minecraft videos most of the time, or any world I play on, I start digging underground. This way I can have a quick and easily built safe house for when mobs and zombies and all those start spawning. The reason I'm putting glass all the way around though is so you can see the action. Uh, I might want to wait on that part. Okay. Let's see, redstone, regular piston, observer, redstone, hoppers. Now, it, wrong way. Sorry about that, people. Uh, family member came in and asked if I would go to Burger King for him. Oh, the joys of... Ah, I got that backwards. Whoops. Pistons are supposed to be right here. My apologies for that. Remember, we use regular pistons here because we don't want sticky pistons to grab the glass. And, uh, well, let's just say it'll be a pain to fix the machine after that. Next will be the observers. Alright, after that, what I do is I will put cobblestone down here. This way it will, wait, wait, power the blocks. And to double check that it works. As you see, once the cow grows up, it will get broke by the pistons. So now that that's all set up, we're going to finish closing this off. And then we're going to go ahead and do this. Put some glass here in case we ever have to come in and work on this. And then what I'm going to do is put cobble here to help once again direct the water flow. Now, like I said, I normally build this underground, but you can probably build it somewhere else. Okay. Now, this is going to seem weird, but I am going to, if I get my character down, actually, now that I think about it, we don't need this part here to help guide the water. We do need that there, though. The reason being... is, oh, let's see, you here, we will have to put something here, uh, wrong block, wrong block, wrong block, to help start up the guided water flow, okay, next thing I do, alright, I need the chest for storage, is set up your storage. Oh, whoops. Now that that's like that, what you can do is loop this around in order to help stop and I just remembered something. Can't have those there. They won't open. Uh, let's uh, see. Cobblestone slabs. Where are you? Ah, here you are. This way the water doesn't flow over and break things. Because you do not want to flood your base. Now, because we can direct water flows, this is one of the reasons why this can be stacked and multiplied like several levels up or side to side. As long as you get the water feed into the hoppers here, you're good to go. 
Although there is an easier way to do this here than with cobblestone, now that I think about it. Oh. Put you there. Fly on up. Put you there. Put one here. Not there. Here, on the side. Then we're going to go ahead and close that hopper off so water don't free flow. Then bring the hopper line all the way over here. Once again, another cobblestone. And now we can go ahead and get the water flow set up. Put your bucket here and let it flow on down. Because it's right over the hopper, it will take the items and send it on down to your chest. Now you're probably wondering, there's glass here. How are we going to get the uh, kelp on up? Well, that's easy. We're just going to break the glass. Now comes the fun part. Don't die. There's an easier way to do this if you use kelp. Or you could just go ahead and go in here real quick. Which is one of the reasons why I said make it out of glass. Break the redstone real quick. Then you can safely get in here and place all the water. Remember, each item needs to be a water source block up to here. So, four levels high. If you go any higher, you'll make infinite water sources, so our water flow will not take our items into the hoppers. And as you can see, we're not... Whoopsies! We're not falling or creating... We're not getting a redstone signal from the hoppers because they're currently disconnected from the pistons. So, head on to this side as well. And go ahead and fill it with water. And remember what I said, be careful not to go higher than four blocks with water. Now that we got that set up, we can go ahead and place the kelp. Go on down. Head on down. Five. Now that that's all set up, we can go ahead and reconnect our redstone. And seal this back off. And there we go. Now there are several modifications you can do this, such as to get in here easier. You can go ahead and, well, just to make the aesthetics look good. Go ahead and do this to it. And then afterwards, you can get a door of any kind. Uh, let's go with the Acacia door, or as Exuma likes to call it, the Achacha door. And now we have an easy way to get in and service our system. <laughs> but yeah, that's all there is to it. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording and restart it so we can get a time lapse of how this works. Uh, remember, it'll all drop into this chest right here. I'll see you all in, let's say, a five minute time lapse, so about half hour. So I'm pretty sure y'all curious to where I have been the last few months. Well, as y'all know, I work at a return center. <clears throat> um, I have a car, I have family I take care of. Um, simply put, I have been working more hours due to some issues with my car. Uh, it's an 04 Pontiac Grand Prix as y'all have seen in previous YouTube videos. Uh, the shock and suspension system is completely shot, as well as part of the rack and pinion. The car does have over 280,000 miles on it. Transmission on it is starting to die. There's several things that I've been having to build up money and funds to fix on it. So, I will be taking a three week leave of absence from work to straighten a ton of stuff out. 
get rid of everything in my room, buy new stuff, uh, make it into a proper studio room for my recording on the channel and stuff. And I've been saying stuff a lot. I apologize for that. Uh, what else have I been doing? Uh, but I haven't been working either at my job or on my car to keep it running. I have been helping out uh, with other stuff with the family or sleeping most of the time. My sister recently graduated uh, college. Her major was in psychology. And so we had family over for that. Uh, so there's that. And there's a bunch of other stuff that's been going on in my life. Uh, I will admit I have been watching a lot of YouTube videos. Trying to get ideas for future videos. One thing about starting to do Minecraft videos like this. Uh, I actually now have four videos recorded and set up for future posting, so I can go back to my once a week scheduled posting, which will be on Tuesdays once again. That will give me plenty of time to rest, relax, and then record on Monday, because uh, my days off are Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. I work 10, hour, 10 hours a week, uh, sometimes I'll work overtime. so. It's five days a week, ten hour shifts, and sometimes they even let us work up to 59 hours, so that's six days a week. Uh, so yeah, uh, because Minecraft videos are so easy to make, such as this, well, kinda easy to make, you gotta know what you're doing for the most part, as in you gotta know not to break your redstone with water, like I used to do a lot. Um... It will allow me to make more gaming videos and show the power of my computer. I also have put a down payment on a one of the websites I use to buy my computer parts has the new Ryzen chips available. So I have put a down payment on one of them so I can get it right away and uh, drop it into my gaming computer. Uh, oh, fun fact, my computer specs are a X470 Gigabyte Aorus Ultra Gaming Motherboard, uh, 32 gigabytes of memory for the video editing and stuff. I have a 360 millimeter radiator water cooling setup on it. A GeForce GTX 1050 Ti SC with a custom cooler on it. Doesn't go above 90 degrees at all. Uh, a lot of my video and footage and even my introductions have are pretty much gone due to a massive failure of everything so I'm just thankful I had backups of just about everything however I had to pretty much replace every drive I had due to the failure um, I had a lightning storm that came through and I'm, it pretty much fried a lot of my electronics uh, such as my storage server and Gaila server which is my streaming media server so a lot of that's been lost however I am bouncing back I have rebuilt the storage server a little bit uh, surprisingly the chips and the boards and all that were fine but only the hard drives got messed up so it's now pretty much packed with new 3 terabyte hard drives from HDST uh, I have no spinning hard drives in my gaming slash video editing computer it's all solid state based now um, I plan on buying a couple 1 terabyte NVMe drives as well as regular SSDs for storage and use the NVMe SSD drives for the video editing. But that's about all there is. Uh, I also have a new Xbox Original. The Xbox Originals are known to have CD drive failure and since they don't make the stuff for them anymore and yes, my other one broke to the way I couldn't even fix it. So the new one I went ahead and modded with the Unleash X. Uh, it's a soft mod that you can do very easily. Uh, if you want, I can show a tutorial on how to do that. Uh, it basically allows me to upload my games from disk. And I'm only doing this as long as I keep the disk. Otherwise, I will delete the copies. But the main reason I did that is because if this CD drive fails, at least I have a way to still use the Xbox. And that's all there is. I'll see you all later. Alright, now that I'm back, 
Oh, this is something I have noticed is a common issue where they for some reason don't float up. Um, one way you can fix that is to not put kelp right here. And because there won't be any kelp here, it'll be able to free flow properly. Oh, go ahead and head down there, grab my kelp. Get rid of that. And get rid of that. If someone could explain to me why that happens, I'd greatly appreciate it. This way I can update this design. But this is all a learning experience for all of us. I'm a new... Well, Minecrafter, YouTuber. I've been a YouTuber for a while on stuff. But this is my first official tutorial on a kelp farm. Uh, let's see how much we got. Five there. Whoops. And 43 here. Oh. Now remember, this can be stacked. And because it can be stacked, you can easily exponentially increase your earnings from these kind of farms. Um, you can also use the same farm design for sugar cane. However, as you know, sugarcane don't grow in water, so just forget the water portion of it. And uh, instead of putting kelp, put the sugarcane. And oh, blah, 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 blah. make sure you put hoppers either. No, you know what? The next one will be a five by five sugarcane farm. This way, I'll most likely run a hopper mine cart underneath to collect the drops. This way, so say, when these fire off, it'll send a redstone signal down to the hopper mine cart to go under, collect all the sugar cane and all that. But that's a video for another time. Uh, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed my video today. Please like and subscribe to my videos. I plan on releasing more of these more often, as well as more Amicraft videos. I have, well, we have up updated our server to 1.14.1 spigot. Wow, I didn't realize I would say spigot like that. And as a result, we are, oh wow, I didn't realize my mic was going that high, running to similar issues as those on Hermitcraft with the lighting. From what I can tell, it's more client side than anything, at least from my experience, because I logged out and logged back in and the lighting got fixed. And yeah, so. Uh, episode 2 of Amicraft will be really soon. I just have to wait for the licensing to go through for the music I plan on putting in for the time lapse. That's pretty much all it is, is a time lapse of a teardown of the mountain in the new area we moved to because of the 1.14.1 update. So, uh, hope y'all have a good day, night, yada yada yada. I'm now going to the X-Ray Down. Have a good day!